André Pierre Gabriel Amédée Tardieu, French, D. Tadjo, the 22nd of September 1876 to the 15th of September 1945, was three times Prime Minister of France, the 3rd of November 1929 to the 17th of February 1930, the 2nd of March to the 4th of December 1930, the 20th of February to the 10th of May 1932, and a dominant figure of French political life in 1929 to 1932. He was a moderate conservative with a strong intellectual reputation, but became a weak prime minister at the start of the worldwide Great Depression. Biography Tardieu was a graduate of the elite Lycée Condorcet. He was accepted by the even more prestigious École Normale Supérieure, but instead entered the diplomatic service. Later, he left the service and became famous as foreign affairs editor of the newspaper Le Temps. He founded the conservative newspaper Lecho National in association with Georges Mandel. In 1914 Tardieu was elected to the Chamber of Deputies from the département of saint et oise as a candidate of the centre-right Democratic Republican Alliance Alliance Démocratique, A.D. He retained this seat till 1924. From 1926 to 1936, he represented the département of Territoire de Belfort. When World War I broke out Tardieu enlisted in the army, serving in the army, before being wounded and invalided home in 1916. He then returned to politics. He served as Georges Clemenceau's lieutenant in 1919 during the Paris Peace Conference and as commissioner for Franco-American War Cooperation. On 8 November 1919, he became Minister of Liberated Regions, administering Alsace and Lorraine, serving until Clemenceau's defeat in 1920. In 1926, Tardieu returned to government as Minister of Transportation under Raymond Poincaré. In 1928, he moved to Minister of the Interior, continuing under Poincaré's successor Aristide Briand. In November 1929 Tardieu himself succeeded Bryant as Président du Conseil Prime Minister, while remaining Interior Minister, though generally considered a conservative, as Prime Minister he introduced a program of welfare measures, including public works, social insurance, and free secondary schooling, and he encouraged modern techniques in industry. On the 11th of March 1932, legislation was passed that established universal family allowances for all wage earners in business and industry with at least two children. He hoped to replace the old ideological standoff between the right and left to a more relevant division based on the modern economy. He argued that, "...a more dynamic capitalism would dry up the Marxism of the working classes." The goal of his leadership was prosperity. When the Great Depression began in 1929 his goal was to evade a depression in France, which happened for several years. Monique Clogg, says, "...an obstinate deflationist throughout the 30s Tardieu would clearly not have given France a new deal." In the election of 1932, he acknowledged the responsibility of the modern state for curing unemployment, but, devoted to the Poincaré franc, he would have sacrificed employment to the maintenance of the gold standard. Tardieu was displaced from both offices for ten days in February to March 1930 by radical Camille Chautamp, but returned till that December. He was subsequently Minister of Agriculture in 1931, Minister of War in 1932, and again Prime Minister also, this time, Minister of Foreign Affairs, from 30 February to 3 June 1932, until the AD and its coalition partners were defeated in the May elections. Do this premiership Tardieu served for three 7 to 10 May 1932 days as the acting president of the French Republic, between the assassination of Paul Dumer and the election of Albert Lebrun. He was briefly a minister of state without portfolio in 1934. His later political activity was largely concerned with containing and responding to German expansion. In his two-volume book La Révolution à Refaire, Tardieu criticized the French parliamentary system. Bibliography A couple of the books he wrote include La France et les Alliances 1908. La Paix 1921, published in English as The Truth About the Treaty Devant L'Obstacle published in English as France and America La Révolution à Refaire, two volumes 1936-37.
Topic: Tardieu's first ministry, the 3rd of November 1929 to the 21st of February 1930. Andre Tardieu, President of the Council and Minister of Interior. Aristide Briand, Minister of Foreign Affairs. Andre Maginot, Minister of War. Henri Chéron, Minister of Finance. Louis Lucher, Minister of Labor, Hygiene, Welfare Work, and Social Security Provisions Lucien Hubert, Minister of Justice Georges Legs, Minister of Marine Louis Roland, Minister of Merchant Marine Laurent Einick, Minister of Air Pierre Moreau, Minister of Public Instruction and Fine Arts Claudius Gallet, Minister of Pensions Jean Hennessy, Minister of Agriculture François Pietri, Minister of Colonies Georges Pernet, Minister of Public Works Louis Germain Martin, Minister of Posts, Telegraphs, and Telephones Pierre-Étienne Flandin, Minister of Commerce and Industry Tardieu's second government, 2 March to 13 December 1930 André Tardieu, President of the Council and Minister of the Interior Aristide Briand, Minister of Foreign Affairs André Maginot, Minister of War Paul Reynaud, Minister of Finance Louis Germain Martin, Minister of Budget Pierre Laval, Minister of Labor and Social Security Provisions Raoul Perret, Minister of Justice Jacques-Louis Dumanil, Minister of Marine Louis Roland, Minister of Merchant Marine. Laurent Einick, Minister of Air. Pierre Moreau, Minister of Public Instruction and Fine Arts. Auguste Champetier de Ribes, Minister of Pensions. Fernand David, Minister of Agriculture. Francois Pietri, Minister of Colonies. Georges Pernet, Minister of Public Works. Desiree Ferry, Minister of Public Health. André Mallarmé Minister of Posts, Telegraphs, and Telephones Pierre-Étienne Flandin, Minister of Commerce and Industry Changes 17 November 1930 Henri Chéron succeeds Perret as Minister of Justice. Tardieu's Third Ministry, 20 February to 3 June 1932 André Tardieu, President of the Council and Minister of Foreign Affairs Paul Reynaud, Vice President of the Council and Minister of Justice François Pietri, Minister of National Defense Albert Mayu, Minister of the Interior Pierre-Étienne Flandin, Minister of Finance Pierre Laval, Minister of Labor and Social Security Provisions Charles Garnier, Minister of Public Works and Merchant Marine Mario Rauston, Minister of Public Instruction and Fine Arts. Auguste Champetier de Ribes, Minister of Pensions and Liberated Regions. Claude Chauveau, Minister of Agriculture. Louis de Chapadelaine, Minister of Colonies. Camille Blazo, Minister of Public Health. Louis Roland, Minister of Commerce, Industry, Posts, Telegraphs, and Telephones. See also Interwar France Topic Primary Sources Tardieu, André. France and the Alliances: The Struggle for the Balance of Power. Macmillan, 1908. Online the Truth About the Treaty, written 1921, to defend the French negotiators from claims that they had been too lenient on the Germans. <inaudible> <inaudible> Further reading Binion, Rudolf. Defeated Leaders, The Political Fate of Cayo, Juvenel, and Tardieu 1960, pp 197-337 online Clog, Monique, Vision and Myopia in the New Politics of André Tardieu French Historical Studies 8 No. 1 1973, pp. 105-129 online Davies, Gareth. 
André Tardieu, Les Moderés and the Politics of Prosperity, 1929–1932", Histoire at Politique 1 94–110, in English. Online